we come out with 2,325. everyone Scott with Air Gun Review. So this is going to be a completely different type of uh, talk today. Uh, I actually want to go over for the beginners who are just starting off in either the less lethal world or even have been using their um, lead-based uh, pellet pistols and rifles, how to get your average feet per second, how to get your average joule. In order to do this, there's a few things that you're going to need. Uh, and I'm going to list them down below to make it simpl simplified for you. Uh, the one thing I'm going to say you should get is some type of a scale. This is going to weigh your uh, projectiles uh, because a lot of these projectiles are not marked. For instance, these are the salt projectiles. They do not tell you what the weight. Now, the weight in, in a projectile here would be in grams. That versus what lead would be in grain. You should always know the weight of the projectile that you're putting into it. And the scale for $7.99 on Amazon is an excellent way to do it. Secondly, get yourself a chronograph. This chronograph happens to be $39.99 on Amazon. And what I like about this one is this will give you feet per second. It also gives you joules. And I will be giving a demo of that later. Those are the two things you need. Thirdly is the website. The website is going to calculate your feet per second to your joules. So the first thing is to get your weight by using your scale. Second thing is we're going to shoot all the, um, all the projectiles. We're going to get our high. We're going to get our lows. And, um, and then I'm going to show you how to average them out. Now to get an average, let me tell you what an average is. The average would be whatever your um your launcher has so in this case this would have five plus if i put one in the barrel this would have six projectiles so you sh shoot them all and then we get our average of feet per second in joules let's get to this video we're going to first start with using the scale all right let's get to weighing our projectiles we're going to uh, turn the unit on and which stands for grain you would be using that if you had a pellet or something lead. The next one over is gram, and that is what we are using. Uh, to keep this from rolling off, uh, I am going to use a bottle cap. When I put the bottle cap on, of course, it's going to weigh the bottle cap, and then you're going to hit this T button to zero it back out, and then we that ensures that it's not going to roll off, and then we're going to put this in. And we see it is 3.75. And we are going to use the uh, Berna Kinetic. And let's see what that weighs. Put this back on there. Should zero it right out. And we'll... 2.93. So basically 2.9 is about what we have. All right. So next up, let's go out and do some shooting. Okay, so we're going to use our Berna LE, seven rounds all loaded up, going in. I have it on safety right now, and let's puncture, and we're ready to fire. Now, we're going to turn the unit on, which is on the side button over here, which you can't see, so we're going to do that first, and let me just point this over a little bit like that so you can see it. I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm going to go to immediately to the function button, and you can see it said FPS right up here. Maybe you can see that or not, but it says feet per second right there. So now we are all set to fire, and let's see what type of feet per second we get. Okay, shot one. After we take it off safety, of course. 413. Wait for it to clear. Shot two. 340. <coughs> Shot three. <coughs> Four. Five. 
Five. Six. Seven. Make sure we're clear. We are clear. Now at that point, you can scroll on and you can take a look at your shots. Shot one. Let's see here. Okay, maybe we're going back one. Uh, okay, <coughs> I'm not too sure what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Shot two. Shot three. Shot four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, so we're going to record all those numbers. Now, we're going to shut this back off. And this time, we are going to use the Salt S2. With the Salt S2, we have six rounds. There's five in here, plus the one that's in the barrel makes six. And we're going to shut this back off. Back off and we're going to calculate this in joules instead of feet per second. We're going to turn it back on. Function button. And now we're going to go up. Now you can see that it turned to joules. Yep. Purple color means joules. And now we're going to put in the weight of our projectile. So it was 3.75. I'm going up to 4. And then I'm going to back it down to 3.7. Only that doesn't do the 75. But that's, you know, splitting hairs when you're talking about joules. So um, with weight. So 3.7 right there. We're going to press the button here. It's locking it in. And we're ready to shoot in joules. Um, we're going to hit this baby and yes i heard it click i can't read things so we're going to see if it's on fire i'm not sure all right let's see here nope okay all right here we go fire 17.9 joules 16.4 joules 15.3 joules. 13.4 joules. 11 joules. And let's see, do we have another one? Don't even remember. Yes, we do. 11.9 joules. And we are out. Disregard that. <laughs> it's just getting the air. Okay, so let's go back inside and let's calculate all this. Okay, so let's recap what we've got here. Um, so our first shot was 413 feet per second, which is our high. So we have a high of 513 feet per second. And then our lowest feet per second is down here at shot number six, which was 304 feet per second. But what is our average? If we were looking for an average, what is it? Well, it's quite easy. What you're going to do is add up all these shots together. So in this case, we took seven shots. So we're going to add that up, and we come out with 2,325. So that is all these numbers add it up, and then we are going to divide it by the seven shots that we just took. And when you divide it by seven, you come up with 332 feet per second. 332. So now we have our high, we have our low, and we have our average. So now we want to calculate this into joules. So now we're going to do that. We're going to put it in joules. And the way we're going to do this is by <clears throat> punching it in to our calculator, which happens to be right here. Let me pull this up, and hopefully you're going to be able to see this like that. Okay. So... We know the burner came out the projectiles to 2.9 gram. So we are going to put in 
right here. 2.9. And we're going to get our high joules, uh, which was 413 feet per second. 413. And let's see what that equals. Calculate. Okay, so that comes out to 22.86. So we have a high of 22.86 joules. It's more interesting to see what our average joules is for this launcher. And that was the 332. And let's calculate it. 14.77 joules. So now, let me put this to the side. So now you know that the Berna LE is approximately, hi guys, approximately, whoa, excuse my hand, 15 joule um, launcher, uh, which would be a fair assessment to not just use your high. You know, you can't just say, hey, it's a, you know, I'm, my launcher is uh, 22.86 joules. Well, we're going to round that up to 23 joules. Yeah, for one shot. Uh, but it's also not reasonable to take your lowest. So finding your average is where you've got to be. And uh, again, 14.77 joules. Now, let's look at the SALT S2. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to punch in the numbers. Let's lower this down again. Excuse my hand being in the way here. Uh, but here we are, and I have to actually get the calculator because I didn't do this free. Uh, but we're going to do the same thing. We took six shots. So we have 17.9 plus 16.4 plus 15.3 plus 13.4 plus 11 plus 11.9. 11.9. So we have a total of 85.9 joules. 85.9. And again, we're going to divide that by our shots, which is six shots. And what does that equal? 14.31. 14.31. And there you have it. The six shots came to 14.31, and you can say, hey, that's about the same as the burner, but remember the burner, you had an extra shot, which was seven shots. So um, with six, six shots, this is 14.31 uh, joules, and the burner LE with seven shots was 14.77. All right, so that just about wraps this up. If you don't mind, just hit the like button. I really like to push this type of information out there so other people have it too. And the best way to do that is for you liking. And you can su subscribe if you like. Again, I appreciate it as always. Take care and I will catch you on the next one.